Okay, I just now uh, turned on my gaming system for a few minutes and it don't have me connected to the internet. So this will be one of the problems you encounter when uh, using the Easy Tether Pro app on the phone and Easy Tether uh, app on the computer to tether your phone's internet internet from your uh, phone to the computer then from the computer to the uh, gaming system okay before doing all these other steps just make sure that the easy tether is turned on on your phone and if it is it'll there will be a, an icon at the top left hand corner of your phone that's a circle a white circle that's got an et spelt into it and then you'll go into easy tether and then if it's on then of course the box will, the usb box will be checked you're, if it's showing that you, it's if it's not connecting you on the internet on your gaming system from using your phone to tether to the computer and then from the computer to the gaming system you'll go down here to the bottom to your easy tether icon on the computer go down to your easy tether icon then go over here to this arrow and then it should be in here if not then you'll have to reinstall it but if it's if you're already uh, been able to get on the internet from on your phone from uh, using the easy tether but not onto the gaming system then this will probably be one of the problems why you go down to your easy tether icon on the computer make sure you're actually connected if you're if you're connected to the easy tether on your computer then uh, it won't show this but right now I'm not connected that could be one that should be one of the problems but it could have been one of the problems to why it didn't allow me to get on a uh, online on my gaming system so I'll go down there to the USB shows me connected now now I'll right click on this again and see uh, this is what shows up when I'm connected to the easy tether on my computer okay now we'll go to my right click go on the desktop screen go to personalize then go up here to the left, top left hand corner to home click on it then go down here to network and internet remember I did say this is on Windows uh, 10 so it would be a little bit different on Windows 7 and Windows 8 then you'll uh, scroll down to your network and sharing center and then you'll come to this screen here this is the screen you actually need to get to but anyways this uh, network 2 is the phone and this unidentified network is my gaming system I'll go up here to the Easy Tether 2 under connections on network 2, click on it, then go to properties, and then uh, I'll go up here to sharing, and I'll turn this off. If this is what is already showing, but also it's, it's not letting you get online, and, it's, and all this still shows the same, then just uncheck this box here, allow other network users to connect uh, through the computer's internet. And then you'll go back into it, go back into properties on that, then go back over here to sharing, then over here to Ethernet under your home network connection, and also turn on allow other network users to connect through computers in that connection. Then go to OK. And it shows it's signing in, but we'll go over here to settings on the PS3, and then go all the way down to network settings, the internet connection settings, Go through all this again. Uh, you could probably go with easy, but just go with. Uh, I just suggest going to custom, wired connection, auto connect, auto detect, automatic, and do not use automatic, automatic, do not use, enable, and then push X again, and then X to test connection. Hmm, that type failed. Okay, I went back into it a second time. The same thing, the network connect uh, connection thing on uh, the PS3. I went back into it the second time after it showed the fail that first time. I went back into it and it succeeded and got the uh, NAT3 type thing showing up. So now I'll go out of it and I should get connected here in just a second. Yep, signed in.